Well, hello, Steve Shacklin. Hello, hello, hello. We're so glad to see you in person and Ottervine United Methodist Church in Lancaster is looking forward to you coming here. Oh, I'm really excited to do it. You know, 25 years ago, um, well, 35 years ago, when I first left East Texas, one of the main reasons I left was being gay and being in the Baptist church. I just thought I, I, I thought I hated God. I hated the church. I said, I'm never going back. I'm never doing that stuff again. I don't believe in any of it. And then after I uh, was diagnosed with HIV, I began writing all these songs that helped me heal. The songs actually brought me back to life right off my deathbed almost, you know, until the new medications came in. And I had this very strange thing that happened is I took all of my songs that I wrote about living with AIDS, lined them up in a row, and it's a church service. Oh. And so churches began to invite me after hearing my songs. The first pastor was the United Church of Christ. And he said, I want you to come and sing for my church. And I said, no, you don't understand. I don't believe in God. I don't, I don't think I believe in God. And he said, yes, you do. I've heard your music. Now shut up and come and sing for my church. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and it was like I just kind of surrendered to that place where a lot of us are, where we kind of have faith, but don't believe the things we believed before and so you end up in that kind of middle range and that's what i what i discovered in playing is that i've was able to reach people by just being honest and telling my story uh we ended up getting one lady would tell me after a church there was one time after i i said you know i don't believe and she said you know you've strengthened my faith in god oh, wow. <laughs> And so since then, I've modified those, you know, those that hard skeptical that I had. And, you know, it's still a rough ride, but I think it's a rough ride for a lot of people in a modern age and learning how to bring together your spirituality and and uh, your physicality and make it all work. Well, and through music, too, through music. It's well, the there's... universal language. You know, we can talk about I sing about gratitude and, you know, sometimes pain and uh, the people who helped me. And you start to realize that the hands of God are really people themselves. Right. Well, Barbara Brown Taylor is an Episcopalian priest, and she wrote a book, a lot of books, but one of them, Altars of the World, and she said, pain... Wait, I have to let my cat out. Wait, hold on a second. Okay. He's going to meow all the way through this okay. thing. <laughs> okay, so Barbara Brown Taylor is an Episcopal priest, and she wrote a book called Altars of the World. In it, she said, pain makes theologians of us all. Wow. I love that. So oh, I was, that's really beautiful. I'm going I'm to really uh, meditate on that. That's really beautiful. I was, so I was thinking, you maybe you've already said it, but um, what has pain taught you about yourself and about your faith? Is, is that some of the things you sing about? That's probably, that's, that's all in there. It's right. all in there. Trying to put it into words is difficult, but I think you I think what it does is is it made me start to become more compassionate. Yes. And for my heart to open up and to quit being so judgmental. It's one thing to be skeptical because of things that have happened to you in your life. It's another thing to look back and be judgmental and to just be a hardcore Right. You know, to be a hardcore nut against anything that has to do with faith. Because right. I think it reaches much deeper than just simple belief, which um, it, it goes, it's more profound than that, right. I well, think. Yes, Richard Rohr, a priest, talks about that we transcend and include. So wow. some, sometimes you outgrow things you were taught, but you include the love and the support. So I right. hear that your father was a missionary Baptist pastor, right? Is and there so full of love. Yes. So what would you include and maybe what have you transcended? Well, you know what I tried to do? First of all, I tried to be very kind to them because they're 90 years old. I don't think they'll ever understand the LGBTQ. They've got nieces and nephews now that are just so out <laughs> that I think my mom's hair is probably standing on end. But I never tried to, to push them into changing who they were or what they believed. 
Like, in other words, I didn't distance myself and say, until you accept me 100% the way I want to be accepted and I'm never going to talk to you again. It was never like that. But I, I did leave home, but I left home mostly because I wanted to spare them a lot of pain. At the time, I was going through a lot of pain. I didn't know what I believed. And, yes. you know, when you grow up in a really, really fundamentally hard religious family, a lot of times little things are difficult to explain. <laughs> yes. Well, I have a question. Did you ever eat gumbo in Southeast Texas? Mm, gumbo. I love gumbo. You know what I really miss here in New York is real Tex-Mex. Yes. Authentic yes. Tex-Mex. When I went back down to Texas and I tasted the difference, I went, oh, okay, now that's some real food. Yes. <laughs> Well, we are so looking forward to you um, singing. And I don't know, do you have a set up there? Would you like to sing us a song? Or? Well, I, I could probably, it's not great. It's not a great sound. Yeah, your Zoom doesn't have the best sound, but. And my, my little setup is not great here, but I could just uh, put, um, oh yeah, sure. Um, I'll just, let me just do a little bit of this one song. This is kind of the finale to our musical, and okay. it'll probably be the last song that I sing in, in the church service. There's a light Holding us together There's a light Holding us all together You can call it fate You can call it God Everything changes, everything changes when you care, when you care. You don't need an explanation when you care. Either you love or you don't, either you will or you won't. You don't need an explanation when you care. that's a little piece and I think it's my whole philosophy is if you start with love yes if you start with love if you lead with love wherever you think you are you're going to get in the right direction well the bible says love hangs all the law and all the prophets it can all right. be summed up in that one word we're looking forward to it for those thank of you, you who are watching you can watch us live stream at Otterbein Lancaster, either Facebook or YouTube. It, to find our YouTube channel, it's just Otterbein Lancaster. Or you can meet us in person at 20 East Clay Street, the corner of Queen and Clay in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We will see you, Steve, on September 19th at 9.30 a.m. I'm looking forward to it.